Ah, it's so difficult to use these utensils. They are too little for me. I should ask to buy bigger ones for me. Just need to add the final touch and it should be ready. It is a little less appealing than in the book. I hope you will like it. But where are you? What are you doing? You should have come back already. Something might have happened to you. If someone hurts you, then they will know the wrath of Raksha. I will tear their body to pieces and make sure they are thrown into the deepest part of hell. To be tortured for eternity. Eternal pain. Eternal despair. Eternal... You're back. Come hug me. I've missed you so much. I know you've only been out for two hours, but it's new for me to care about someone. So I must say I'm a little stressed when you go outside. I know it's safe, but I'm a little scared that something could happen to you. And you said you were only going out for 40 minutes. If you hadn't come back now, I would have gone outside to find you and wreaked havoc until I had confirmed you were safe. But I did as you taught me and calmed myself. So why are you late? Oh, you had to pick up something. It's in this bag. What is it? A surprise for me. Really? Thank you. It's the first time someone is giving me something. Except that time when that demon offered me his axe in exchange for his life. Took his life and his axe. It was a good axe. But it broke while I was fighting. I missed that axe. Did you offer me an axe? No. Oh. Can I see what it is? Okay. Let me see what's inside. It's a dress. A sundress. It's beautiful. Wait, no. It's for me. No, no. I don't think it would suit me. Look, I I'm a demon of war. I, I wear the blood of my enemies, not a sundress. A and you would see even more of my scars. This dress with my muscular body w would not look right. A and I would be a little embarrassed to wear it. Yes, I said I would stop saying those things about my body. You're sure I will look beautiful in it? Really? I believe you. I always believe you. I will try to wear it. I'm going to change in the bedroom. Wait here. Oh, Satan, it's so embarrassing. It's not protecting anything. It's really not made for battle. It would be so hard to remove blood from it. Okay. I just need to go show you. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Here, so... What do you think? You're not even reacting. I guess it really looks bad on me. I should change back. That's not it. You've been stunned by my beauty. Really? 
Do you really think I'm beautiful in it? Thank you. It feels a little weird to wear something like this, but it feels great. So, I packed up everything in this basket for our picnic. Are you ready to go? Okay, let me just change back and we can go. Go outside like this. No, it would be embarrassing. I know you say you find me beautiful, but a big demon like me in a dress outside is embarrassing. And what if someone sees me like this? It's really embarrassing. Do you really want me to go outside like this? Will that really make you happy? Okay. But I'm doing it just for you. You're also scared someone will see me like this. <sighs> because they would instantly be mesmerized by my beauty. S stop with these jokes. Y you're not joking. Thank you. Now, let us depart for our picnic. You can go on ahead. I just need to grab something from the kitchen. I hope you will like it. Okay, I'm ready to leave. No, no, I'm okay with holding the basket. It doesn't weigh anything to me. Do I need to remind you you have the powerful Raksha in front of you? And if you feel a little tired, I could also hold you while we're walking to the hill with the flowers. You would be really close to me like that. Maybe on the way back, oh, okay. For the moment you want to hold my hand while walking. Yes, that is also nice. First we need to traverse this forest, is that right? The forests of your world are so different from mine. How? Well, yours are so full of life and nature. There are fruits hanging from your trees. In my world, there are only sinners hanging from the trees. Here you have birds singing. In hell, you hear traders screaming. It's really better here. And this world has you, so it's obviously better. So how long do we have to walk before we arrive? Just 15 more minutes. That's a little sad. I really like the ambience of this forest. We can come back later, really. I would like to try a night walk with you in this forest. So, we just need to cross this and we've arrived. Oh, it's so beautiful. So many flowers. It's so pretty. Why are you smiling so much? Because I made a cute face. Stop laughing. And you're the one being cute smiling like that. Let's put the blanket near this tree. We should start eating. So let me see what you've prepared. You made us sandwiches. I always love when you prepare the food. You even added extra meat for mine. 
Thank you. You're always making sure that you cook something I like. So can I start eating? Thanks. Mm. It's so good. Mm, the taste of the meat. It's so good. Why are you just smiling and not eating? You find the face I make when I eat meat cute. Stop. Don't say that. I don't always have a big smile when I eat meat. Just maybe sometimes. So stop staring and start eating your food before I eat your sandwiches. <laughs> That was really good. Did you like yours too? That's good. But you think you should have prepared a dessert? <sighs> well, about that. You know, I only know how to battle and kill and not a lot of things you need in your daily life, but... I thought that maybe I could try to cook something for you. So, I made you a pie. It's my first time cooking, so it may be bad. And if you don't like it, I will understand, but could you please try to taste it? You will. Thank you. So, what do you think of it? It's good. Really? You're not saying that to make me happy, right? You really like it. Thanks, Satan. I was scared that I would make something bad and you wouldn't like it. I wanted to do something for you, so I trained to make you something you liked. But it was not as appealing as in the book, so I thought I messed it up badly. But you liked it. So it's good. You're yawning. Are you a little tired after eating? Come, lay on me. I will hold you while you rest yourself. No, please. I insist. Come lay on me. I... I like when I can hold you like this. So come into my arms, please. Sweetie. Yeah. I... I called you sweetie. What about it? I saw human couples call each other like that, so I, I just wanted to try it. You like it? So I can keep calling you, sweetie? Thanks. I love you, sweetie. Why are you laughing? You find it funny that the big demon of war is such a softy now and even gives cute names. Stop teasing me. I'm still Raksha, the powerful demon. But I'm also your Raksha. Your love. Yeah. You changed me. But you're one to talk. When we made the pact, I told you, you would become more violent, even if you're good at resisting the urges. But you became violent the other day. You beat that man to an inch of his life because he called me a monster. You were so violent, so angry, so animal. You were like a beast following its most basic instinct. I was a little scared when you lost control. 
but you managed to stop yourself. I was so proud of you. But I kind of like the fact that you beat that man because he insulted me. It made me feel special. Thank you. <laughs> you would do it again. <laughs> On one hand, I kind of like seeing you beating someone. But I also don't want to lose the you who is soft. So next time you feel the urge to let your violence go wild, instead, just hug me. Hug me the tightest you can. Put all your craving for violence in it. And I will hug you back, giving you the same kindness that you gave me. I will hold you close to me until the only thing I can feel from you is your soft and warm kindness. I promised that I will be there to help you contain those urges. So please promise me that if you ever feel these urges again, you won't succumb to it. And instead, you'll let my warm embrace soothe you back to your kind self. Your well-being is the most important thing to me. Thank you for promising it. I will always be there for you. Because you are the one I love. I love you too. And thank you again for this dress. It's really beautiful. It's the first time someone has given me something so beautiful. But where did you find it? We didn't find anything that fits me in your world. It's normal since I'm much taller and bigger than you humans. They don't have clothes for eight foot tall muscular demons. <laughs> You made it? You, you really made it yourself. You learned sewing so that you could give me beautiful clothes. For me. You did this for me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. Come here. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. You're always making me feel special. I can't believe you learned to sew just for me. I promise to learn to be a better cook. No, no. I want to do it for you. I also want to make you happy. I will not be able to repay all your kindness within your lifetime. So when we're together in hell, I will make sure to make you happy there too. It's strange. When I'm with you, my craving for violence becomes almost non-existent to me. It's still there, screaming at me to wreak havoc, but it's so insignificant compared to all the love I feel for you, compared to the craving of me protecting you and making you happy. You changed me. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? I make you the happiest you could have ever imagined being. I'm the source of joy in your life. 
You're happy knowing that you'll be with me for eternity after your death. <sighs> I... mm. Sorry if it's a little too tight. But I really need to hold you tight right now. It might sound selfish, but I'm not letting you go today. <laughs> I'm going to keep hugging you for the rest of the day. Even on the way home, you will not leave my arms. I'm so happy that I make you feel like this. Kiss me. Kiss me with all your love and hold me tight. Mm. I love you. No, like I said, you're not allowed to leave my arms. If you want to take a nap, just sleep on me. Here, lay your head on my chest. Can you hear it? My heart is beating just for you. You like the sound of my heartbeats. You feel like you can fall asleep to it. Mm. Then keep listening to it. Let the sound of my love make you drift off to sleep. I will be there, holding you tightly, playing with your hair and telling you how much I love you until you fall asleep. Thank you again for this beautiful day. I love you, my love, my sweetie.